Hello, and welcome to the Daily Reflections from St Mary Magdalene with St Martin's Church on Saturday the 4th of July. If you haven't read the readings for today already, they should be on the screen in front of you now. Today we read the culmination of Jephthah's story in Judges. Yesterday we saw his major sin. Rather than planting himself in the sufficiency of God's goodness, he decided to bargain with God. If you do this, then I will give you that. That's not how God works. There's nothing that we can give him that he needs. In any case, the bargain that he tried to make uh, went against God, God's law. We know for sure that God does not desire human sacrifice, a pagan practice of the nations that surrounded Israel at the time. God, in his goodness, rescued Israel from its enemies by means of Jephthah. But sin has consequences, which we see now. And the consequence is civil war here. As so often, the sin on all fronts. The Ephraimites are proud. They resent having been excluded from Jephthah's victory over the Ammonites. Their sin is to forget that it was not a victory to be squabbled over, but one that God had given. The appropriate response would be to glorify God, not to threaten to burn down the house of the general. But God is missing in Jephthah's response to them. Here we have no comment that the Spirit of God came upon Jephthah, as it did in his defeat of the Ammonites. Rather, he responded as a warlord. He has been insulted and exacts brutal revenge. The scene of the fords of Jordan is vivid. Using their accent against them, not one of the Ephraimites is allowed to escape. There's nothing unjust about this episode. The Ephraimites were by no means innocent. In, fla in fact, in playground terms, they started it. They brought this upon themselves. But if only Jephthah had stayed focused on God. The psalm states things clearly. God arose to judgment to save all the meek upon earth. You crushed the wrath of the people. You bridled the wrathful remnant. He breaks down the spirit of princes and strikes terror into the kings of the earth. The point in all this is that it's very easy to get ourselves into a position where we think we're in the right. In fact, the more that God gives us, the easier it is to think that we have some natural ability to do the right thing. We need to crush that pride and focus on God, only by submitting entirely to his will can we do good. This applies at the grand level of government, as for Jeph Jephthah, and at the local level of how we deal with our normal lives. So let's pray for the Holy Spirit to fill us and to guide us.